this woman sold her daughter to a stranger for one million dollars. What happened later will shock you. Greetings my friends, now we are down for another video filled with facts that you should know. Let's fill our day with interesting stories and messages that will surely change your views. Before we move on, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. Each year, approximately 140 million babies are being born. In the worldwide pregnancy statistics, 61% are unintended pregnancies that sometimes leads to abortion or worse, misfortune of the child's life. Grab your tissues now as we're going to dive through a heartbreaking story about a woman who sold her daughter to a complete stranger for a million dollars. At age four, Sarah ended up living with a stranger. Long before Sarah was born, her mother, Carmen, had no intention of taking care of her child. For nine months, she carried Sarah in her womb. Carmen never felt the slightest compassion for the child. Since Sarah was born, she has been neglected by her mother. Carmen refused to feed Sarah, for it would ruin her figure, so the doctors had to take care of the poor child until they were discharged. Unfortunately, she had a full responsibility of taking care of the child. She took Sarah home as if she had no choice, and there, the misfortunes of Sarah began. Carmen lived as if nothing had happened. A fragile infant needs a lot of care, but her mother seems to not understand or just doesn't care about the needs of her daughter. She'd leave Sarah hungry and cold alone in her room and would go out partying all night. Naturally, the child would cry out loud, looking for the warmth of her mother. The neighbor couldn't stand the loud noises that kept her awake every night, so she went to see what was going on in Carmen's house. She immediately slipped through the window to aid the crying child. She met little Sarah, who longs for a mother's love and care. Sarah stopped crying as soon as she felt the warmth of a woman carrying her. The neighbor couldn't find her mum anywhere. She felt sorry for the child and stayed with her until she fell asleep. The neighbor assumed that Carmen was at work and that she had no one to care for her child, so she had no choice but to leave her alone. The neighbor visited Sarah regularly and did the same routine day by day. She would slip through the window and feed the crying child. After days of observing, she realized that Carmen is just out partying and coming home drunk every night with guys that she just met. The neighbor decided to take care of Sarah as she had nothing to expect from her mother. Carmen found out about the neighbor breaking in every night. She got mad, but she thought it would be a better option since she doesn't want to nurse the child and gave the neighbor access to the house instead. Time had passed. The once helpless infant grew into a poor little child who knew she had no space in her mother's heart. Carmen never allowed her to play around the house. At an early age, she started to learn to do house chores so she can be useful to her beloved mother. Her mum brought home new boyfriends who also didn't treat her well. There wasn't a day when Carmen or her boyfriend didn't scold or yell at her for doing nothing but everything right. How could a mere child do all these things that are supposed to be done by an adult? She's then forced to serve her mother's boyfriend, even had Sarah massage his feet and make them breakfast. Sarah's life with her mother is a living hell. She was constantly abused verbally by her mum and her boyfriends. She never thought of any reason why her mum hated her so much. Sarah found the love and care she sought in the neighbour, who stood as her other mum. But her happy days with the neighbour ended when Carmen prohibited Sarah from seeing her. Their neighbour saw her serving her mum's boyfriend and threatened her mum to call the police. With that, she forbade Sarah to meet with the neighbour again. Sarah always dreamed of going to the neighbor's house again, where she could have a nice meal, a glass of warm milk and cookies all for her. After that, she never heard from the woman who stood as her other mum again and was forced to live with her biological mum, yet a cruel mum. While Carmen is out working as a waitress, Sarah was left alone with her mother's boyfriend. He lost his job and dumped all his bitterness on Sarah. The boyfriend soon became a huge burden to their mum. Carmen can hardly pay the bills for her boyfriend's debts from the bank. He suggested mortgaging the house to have money to pay his debts. Carmen, who was so in love with her boyfriend, undoubtedly agreed to his idea. Still, bills kept coming in and they've nothing to pawn anymore. Her boyfriend then had a worst offer. He said there is a man who can give them a huge amount of money in exchange for Sarah. He filled Carmen's mind with the flowery words that after they got the money, they would live somewhere and start a new life together. 
Carmen was blinded by the thought of a new life and her boyfriend without Sarah, who she thinks is a burden to them. She instantly agreed to what her boyfriend said without thinking of the fate of Sarah and what it would mean to put her in the hands of a stranger. Carmen, without any guilt, took Sarah to the dark alley and handed Sarah to the stranger. Sarah pleaded to her mother. She was so scared. She begged and cried out loud, but her mother never felt any remorse nor a little pity for her own daughter. Carmen didn't have any knowledge of what her boyfriend was plotting. When she got home, she couldn't find him anywhere and he'd even taken Carmen's belongings with him. She knew nothing until she found a note from her boyfriend saying he'd just taken advantage of her shallowness and that he was making fun of her for being delusional. He also mentioned that he'd already taken the $1 million from the stranger who bought Sarah. She was left with complete emptiness. Her misfortune soon followed by an immediate eviction from the house she was living in. The poor mother ended up living on the streets the poor mother ended up living in the streets. She slept on cardboard and begged for pennies and for food from passerby to give her something to eat. Her life turned into complete misery when she had nothing and no one to share her sorrows. While she was sitting on the sidewalk, a big manly hand reached out and gave her a coin. She looked up and saw a familiar face. He smiled at her and a little girl about seven years old was there behind the man. She ran towards her and gave her a big hug. For a moment, she felt real love, and for a short minute, it eased her sadness. Then the little girl went back to the man, and the man picked her up and carried the little girl on his back. She recognized that it was the man who had bought Sarah, and the kid who hugged her was her child, Sarah, walking right next to them in their neighborhood, who genuinely cared for Sarah from the very start. They looked like a completely happy family. Little Sarah finally found the family she deserved. Considering everything her mother had done to her, Sarah never felt any anger on her mum, and she's still thankful to her mum for giving birth to her. Regardless of her miserable life with her mother, she still loves her unconditionally. Full of regrets, Carmen, for the first time, felt guilty and pity for herself, not because of her situation, but because she never cared for the true treasure that she had, her child. This story is a perfect example of how people are blinded by earthly pleasure. You'll never know the importance of things you have until it's gone. People often seek pleasure in material objects and love that doesn't last. Some people have been normalizing intimacy and sexual relationships at a very young age without thinking of the consequences that follow as they see the pleasure in things that only give them happiness for a short period of time and fail to notice that their true treasure has always been with them. The moral of this story is that people should know that pregnancy is a long life responsibility. A child doesn't have a choice and didn't ask to be born. It's a parent's decision. The responsibility does not stop once the baby is born, rather there's a bigger responsibility that awaits. It is to invest emotions, love, passion, time, and to give all the things needed to nourish the child in its physical, mental, and emotional health. So to all people who are watching this, Always remember that pregnancy and parenting is not a simple job. It requires time and effort, and the most important thing is that there is a life that you are nurturing, a body and soul who will one day become just like you, a person who knows how to love and live. Thank you for joining us once again, dear friend. I hope this story somehow touched your hearts, and I hope you learned something from this story. Big hugs to you guys, and remember to always treasure every moment with your loved ones. Join me again in our next videos. Like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to stay updated. It won't be long, and I'll be back with more interesting stories. See you again next time.